Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda, A Link Between Worlds. In the last part, we got most, we got all of our items. So we are almost ready to continue to both areas. However, the only area we can access right now is the Tower of Hera. Oh, I have this bell thing. So we're going to fly up to the sanctuary to start. Um, the only area we can access is the um, Tower of Hera. First, we're actually going to go visit her grandma, uh, Irene's grandma, because I always consider the Tower of Hera the third of these beginner dungeons, or temples, I guess would be a better term. So I've never really, well, done it second. Instead, we're going to go do the other one, since it's just across here, and, oh, try not to jump into the, I was going to cut the grass, but... You see, you can get around even without the rock glove, you can get to it. And unlock this area, which is... Like the... What is it? A new area is... The Witch's House, Weather Rain. We're not gonna save. We can also, if we have bombs, which we do now, we can open up a path here, but I'm not too worried about that. So we'll let it explode. Nice little jingle there, but we're going into the Witch's House. This is just to see what's here. Purple Potion. Damages all surrounding enemies. Requires 10 monster guts. Invincibility Potion, basically. 10 monster horns. Blue Potion. Full heal. 10 monster tails. And then last, Red Potion. Just money. And all these are very useful potions depending on what you're doing. We've only got monster guts on us right now, and we don't really need the um, other potion while we still have a fairy on us. We have this guy. The bridge is broken. Some guy dashed in, jumped through. Could never do that. Nothing to do but swim to Zora's domain. You can't swim? Meh, just like me. Swimless friends. And you know what? We both can't get to Zora's domain either. Well, that's not true. We can walk through the wall. What a special ability! That's about as special as they come. And we can head over and continue our path towards Zora's Domain. Since, like in the other games, Zora's Domain is where you get the uh, Zora Flippers. We head up in here, and we're practically there already. Let's hop down. You can see there's nice little rupees and everything here. But the only downside is that there's Zora's Domain. And we see this guy. We, we met him in Kakariko earlier. Watch where you're going. You're that kid who's going to be the evil eye back in the village. Exactly. Uh, what are we doing in a place like this? We've come to visit the Zoras. So, that guy runs away. And someone needs to help the queen. Fortunately, we can walk right through a waterfall. And this is Zora's domain. And that's the big Zora queen. The guy doesn't even know what trouble he just caused. She does not seem happy. It's getting worse by the second. I can't believe the guy came in and stole the smooth gem right from under our gills. The finless jerk probably thought it was something, some sparkly thing, but the queen needs it to contain her power. The queen will keep... Oh, apparently it makes the queen grow bigger each time. She'll keep bloating up. Oh, maybe she's allergic to fish or something. In any case, we've got to get that smooth gem back or else. It's a very rare gem. So, of course, we're going to go back to the last place we saw that guy, which is Kakariko Village. And we were in Kakariko a little earlier, um, and we saw there was nothing special in it, because we, we passed through there on the way to get the bracelets. I forgot I had to go there to um, set things up in the first place. And we'll see. Look at this guy. And he runs away, and he runs quick, so we're not able to catch him yet. So we'll head back, and if we take a look over there, we'll see he is actually still there. So, since everything is solved by merging, we're going to exit and be immediately behind him. 
and we want the smooth gem. No idea the stone was that precious. I knew the gemstone would fetch a high price. I'm sorry, I already sold it to that guy over there, so we no longer can get it from him. Spent all the money. Boots helped me run so fast, I've been stealing everything that I nailed down. And he gives us the Pegasus Boots, which is one of the other reasons I like to do um, Tower of Hera sec. Sorry, not Tower of Hera. Um, the Wind one. I, may, I have new stock that may interest you. Come take a look. So, we can see 200 rupees. So that's another reason we always wanted a bunch of rupees on us. We still have 109, so all things considered, I think I did pretty good with my rupee grinding. And finally, I wanted to do this the first time, but we couldn't pick up these rocks. We can head down here. Which is just a bunch of snakes. And a piece of heart. Unfortunately, I want to go through and collect these all at the same time, so I'm going to just hop down and get this chest instead. 20 rupees. So we'll know that for the future, that we can get a piece of heart right here. So, let's go, I guess, help the Zoras to the witch's house. She is not happy having to be flying us around everywhere, but I don't see her actually helping her grandma either. How did that guy make it across, or did he... Eh, I don't know what happened to them. Yeah, we're just gonna sneak through this wall. Apparently the birds can... are one of the few things that actually can just see us in the wall. Infinite running, I guess. I was saying, like, it's, it's, it wasn't actually letting me stop. But, now that we've gotten both the Pegasus Boots and the Smooth Stone, we can rush in and put the Smooth Gem into the pool. It doesn't make much sense, but the water is purified very quickly, and Zora Queen has shrunken considerably compared to um, before. The bloating has stopped, indeed. And that's a, that's a much nicer tone compared to what the uh, queen was doing before. Are you the one who helped up me? Thanks to you, I'm free of my pool. That was rather undignified. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Orin, Queen of the Zoras. I don't know how I came to rely on that troublesome smooth gem, but I do need it, so I thank you deeply. I'm filled with gratitude. Please take these, won't you? And Oren gives us... The Zora Flippers. They will allow you to swim and dive, so you may take the rivers and roam the lakes. But my Zoras do consider that their territory, and while I tell them to get along with people, I have to admit, they don't listen, so be careful out there. So that is something we're going to have to keep in mind, that the Zoras will still attack us. Uh, we haven't really had to fight any before, but we can now dive into the water and collect some more money. We won't be getting back our um, 200 rupees as quickly as I'd like, but... Another piece of heart. Man, we've, we've run into two of those already this episode. I just, I want to get them all at the same time for uh, sanity's sake. Ooh, I can merge here. Let's merge and see what happens. Oh, we can change maps and hop out here, I guess. Uh, I can't remember if there is anything near this area beside that heart piece that we needed, so... Fortunately, there's a lot of these points, which is just another area for you to merge to. Or apparently something that will be buried behind there later. But see, the Zoras will try to attack us, shooting fireballs at this point. I'm going to just, I'm going to swim down to that area because I'm kind of interested to see if there's anything hidden uh, that I forgot about. And I mean, ah, oh, nope, it actually is going to stop me. Might as well just bell my way back to my house then. 
because you look like you're doing just fine. Well, thank you. Thank you. I'll, I'll take it. But with everything in hand, the Zora Flippers and the uh, Pegasus Boots, we are able to make our way back to this dungeon. And this area, I know I said once I have bombs I can just open it up. However, I've decided I'm also going to do this later. We still need to get our last equipable item from... Um, what's his name? Osfala? That guy is kind of just hiding it from us. So, we're going to keep swimming. There's a few good grapple points that aren't too important. The important thing is right here. And you can see we need the tornado rod. Which we've already grabbed. The House of Gales is what it's called. Ah, we've already grabbed it. Let's throw it right onto Y since we'll need it primarily in this area. Huh. Step on that and what do you know? It opens the door. But there's one more panel here which I guess has nothing under it. It has something later, but right now it does not have anything. I will get a chance to show you that in another time. But welcome to what I consider the second dungeon, House of Gales. Because, well, you can fly up into the air currents and be brought around. So it's a pretty simple map not too many more spaces than before, and you can see they all use the central room. So, let's head back to the first one. We're going to head over right to the right to begin. Which, if I was smart, I would have used a bomb to do that. Instead, I have to walk around and merge with this wall. Now that that layer's down, we can actually hop in and go here. Which has three fire skulls. Fortunately, a quick tornado will deal with most of them, or at least put out the fire. Which, as long as the fire is out, you can handle them easily. And they just need to be caught by any part of the tornado for your tornado rod to work. So, this first room over to the right gives us a small key. We're going to get a lot of these small keys in this one. I don't think there's anything else hidden in this room, so we can just continue on. We're going to merge. I don't want to drop and run through it again, so. And, look at that. We need the small key for this door over here. As much as I'd love to just walk over there, I can't. You have to merge to the side of this and let it bring you there. It's entertaining to see how many block puzzles they have for that. Because between that and um, the top of it, you have two different paths you can take. With the compass, however, we can see a bit better the layout of this room. And we can see just one more chest in it. But we can't get anything else from here. So the compass we've gotten, now we have to just make it back over there. We're going to actually pull out our lantern, see what happens for lighting these guys. Gives us another chest. This might also be a key. It is money. That's unfortunate, but that's one less thing we have to worry about for the future. And now, unfortunately, we can't just walk through um, that pile of wind. We have to turn it off. And since these are still the early dungeons, they aren't too difficult to navigate. It, the only annoying thing really is that you have to uh, drop to do them more often than not. So merge, we can walk our way across and then climb up. This gets us back to the second height. We could go after those blue rupees as well, but they're not exactly going to be easy for us to get. I guess back in this room? Yeah. Maybe. We will find out. Because we can't do anything going this way, so we have to pop off here, and instead take this next block, the safe area. Safe being, you know, kind of true. Because we, we really just want to be able to... Oh, it kicked me out of the wall, right next to where we were going. Like, I fell through that small of a gap 
instead of doing what I was supposed to do and pop out. But, we can make it up here, and unfortunately, we missed that platform. We also, we have another platform down there that we can't quite get to here. But, stepping on this button should turn on at least one blower. Ah, a shortcut back should we need it. 